Hello. In this video, we are going to see exchange rates and forex businesses that is your CIB, BFM and in this we are going to cover some numerical related to cross rate. So friends see, this is the example number 3 given in your Macmillan book. See what example says, retirement of an import bill for GBP that is Great Britain Pound 1 lakh by TT margin 0 0.20 ignore cash discount and premium GBP slash USD is given as 1.2175 and 1.2185 we have to read in this way and also USD slash INR is given as 68.15 slash 15 that is where we can read it as 68.14 and 68.15 in this fashion we can read it so we have to compute rate for customer so we have to compute the rate for customer see friends in the starting the import bill when it says import bill that means the case is selling case in the beginning in the very first uh, video I have told you that see uh, there are some keywords from that keywords you can find where it is buying or a selling case so it is an import bill the word mentioned import bill that means it is a selling case so friends as we have found it is a selling case now what we have to given what they have given see here gbp slash usd in the beginning they have given gbp slash usd that is pound dollar is 1.1.2175 slash 85 USD versus INR, USD INR is given 68.14 and 68.15. So what, how to solve that type of numerical, when there are two cross rate are given, so in this way, see here, you have to draw a Z, you have to draw a Z, and in this you have to take, which is a common currency, see, USD, uh, pound, dollar, dollar and Indian rupees, right, so common is dollar. So uh, it is structured like a Z, it is like a Z, you have to draw, it is like a Z. So uh, you have to write at the end of the common line, the common currency, it is common currency here is the US dollar. So I have taken US dollar and at the bottom you have to take the home currency, at the bottom you have to take the home currency, very important, remember this uh, structure. When you take a home currency at the bottom, the remaining currency, you can say third currency or foreign currency at the top. This is the just basic. So, uh, draw a structure Z. What is common here is a dollar. So, uh, we have taken dollar in the common line. So, uh, in the first they are telling, see, one dollar, what they have given here? One dollar we have taken, dollar in the common. At the bottom we have taken home currency is in Indian rupees our home currency is Indian rupees so Indian rupees symbol and at the top is remaining that is pound symbol of pound is this so what they have given see here 1 pound is equal to 1.2175 and 1.2185 1 pound is equal to they have given we have just drawn figure and they have given 1 US dollar is equal to 68.14 68.14 and 68.15 they have given so these data they have given we have drawn right so what we have to do to find uh, the required rate we have to just multiply this but there are two values how to choose value see the case in the uh, beginning they have they said it is import bill import bill that means that the case is selling and when the case is selling the principle is buy low sell high our principle is buy low sell high so case is selling so we have to sell high so we have to take a maximum value we have to take a maximum value so maximum value is this among these two and among these two maximum value is this so just multiply this you have to just multiply these two currency so multiply this into this this into this you will get 83.0485 so this is your rate now in the addition that they have said margin 0 0.20 so the case is uh, if case is buying we have to subtract the margin if the case is selling we have to add the margin so we have to calculate margin on the uh, rate we have we have derived right so see here 0 0.2 percent of the that rate 83.04 into 20 0. 
टू जीरो परसेंट दैट विल यू यू विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट वन डबल सिक्स सो द मार्जिन यू हैव टू एड इन दी रेट इन दी प्रीवियस रेट सो एड यू विल गेट एटी थ्री पॉइंट टू जीरो सिक्स एट एंड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू राउंडिंग ऑफ हाउ टू डू राउंडिंग ऑफ सी एल If uh, after decimal point there should be a four digit in for the rounding off, and the rule for rounding off is uh, C. The rule for rounding off is zero zero two five fifty and seventy five. So nearest la see the last two digit. To which of the following is the nearest? So seventy five. It is nearest to the seventy five. So we have taken it is eight three two zero point seventy five. Right. so in this fashion we okay, we have to do rounding off so friend this is very very easy example just you have to remember the z when there is a cross currency you have to draw z in the common line you have to uh, take a common currency at the bottom you have to take a home currency that is rupees and the remaining currency at the top and you have to just multiply the right side multiply the right side and uh, depending on the condition you have to multiply if the selling case you have to take higher value if the buying case you have to take the lower value and that will be your answer if margin is mentioned then then only you have to work about the mar margin if margin is not mentioned that that will be your answer right so friend this is the uh, example number 3 uh, you have to one uh, uh, note important thing here you have to note c while multiplying that while multiplying the right side The left side must be one. See here, it is a one dollar is sixty eight point one eight one four. One euro is one point two one seventy five. You have to make sure that left side should be unity. So we will move to the next example. See friends, uh, this is the seventh example of your Macmillan book. See what they are saying. B C D want to remit a J P Y that is Japanese yen that is Japanese yen. Of a hundred million, of a hundred million. What is one million? Ten lakh. One million is a ten lakh. By TT value spot, as a payment of an import invoice. The whenever you read the word import, that means you should get what is the importance of import, right? Import means a selling. Import means selling. Given that USD versus INR is sixty eight point two five double zero slash two six double zero. USD versus Japanese yen is a one one six point five zero slash six zero, and the margin is zero point one five percent to be loaded to change the rate, and calculate the rate to be quoted and rupees amount to be debited to account of BCD. So friends, see how to solve this example. Very very simple. See when there is a two rates are mentioned, that is cross rate. That means your example is very easy. See in the uh, what they have given, we have to write first. In the first line, they have given see US dollar versus INR. What is US? There is dollars versus rupees. It's sixty eight point two five double zero slash two six double zero. Now they have given dollar versus yen six one one six point five zero slash sixty. There is given data. So we have to draw. What is the common currency in this? Is the dollar. So on a vertical line, it is a dollar. right it should be a common currency in the both so uh, home currency is rupees we have write it as an bottom and the remaining is at the top so see here now put the values see they have given 1 dollar is equal to 68.2500 slash 2600 so 1 dollar is equal to 68.2500 slash 68.2600 right and what they have given 1 yen is equal to 1 Dollar here, one dollar is equal to one one six point five zero slash six zero yen. That should be we have to read in this fashion. One dollar is equal to one one six point five zero yen, or one dollar is equal to one one six zero point one one six zero point six zero yen. So one dollar is equal to one one six point five zero oblique sixty that they have given. So what is the, our primary condition? Is our left side should be one. How can be it one? So when uh, it it goes to the other side when 1 dollar is 116 that means 1 in is 1 upon 116 see here when 1 dollar is 116 that means 1 in is 1 upon 1 in is 1 upon you have to make left side is a unity very important unless and until you make one left side one left side as a unity you will not get correct answer so make left side as a unity 
so 1n you will get 1n is equal to dollar when you take a reciprocal of it right so when 1 dollar is a 116 so 1n one is a 1 upon 116 so 1n is equal to 1 upon 116.50 and 1 upon 116.60 similarly 1 dollar is 68.2500 and 68.2500 it is already one unity so we don't need to convert it or don't need to take a reciprocal here so uh, up to this we have came now see here uh, in the uh, numerical they said it is import in wise when there is word import in wise that means the case is a selling that means the case is a selling and the principle is buy low and sell high so we have to sell high so what is mean by sell high take a maximum values of the right side so 68.25 and 68.26 the maximum value is 68.26 we have taken uh, in this we have to find the maximum see friends uh, the many of the friends are doing the mistake here in the hurry they will take a wrong value so uh, be careful while choosing the value 1 upon 116.5 and 1 upon 116.6 so which is greater value you have to choose see here 1 upon 2 and 1 upon 3 the greater value is 1 upon 2 less the numerator is the greater value you have to take in this fashion so greater value is 116.50 not 1 upon 116.50 it is in a denominator so take this bigger value so it is bigger value than this this is bigger value so just multiply the right side so we have chosen the value this and this so just multiply these two value you will get 0 0.5958522 0 0.5958522 after multiplying this you will get this this is this is for the 1n so we come to know that 1n is equal to 0 0.585922 rupees right so but see here friends as per fedai rules it is a rule by fedai as per fedai rules japanese n should be quoted against the 100 n it should be 100 n you cannot quote a Japanese n as a single n. It should be 100 n, right? Because its value is too small. So we have to take 100 n. So how to take multiply this by 100? So for 100 n, it will become a 58.5923. Now the margin is given as 0 0.15. So when the case is ceiling, that means we have to add the margin. We have to add the margin. So we have to calculate 0 0.15 percent of this. So we have calculated, so it will come uh, 0 0.0879 and uh, we have to add the margin. So in the rate you have to add margin. So 100 n we have calculated 58.5923 and the value for the margin is 0 0.0879. When you add you will get 58.68002, right that is 58.68. So friends, we come to know that value for 100 n, that is the rate we want to quote is 58.68, 58.68. Now see, uh, rounding off. In the previous example, I have told you how to do rounding off. Uh, there are, uh, suppose 0, 0, 2, 5, 5, 0 and 75. Last four digit you have to concentrate. What are the last four digit after decimal point? The last four digit are 0, 2. It is nearer to which digit? It is nearer to 0, 0. Right, so we have to take 0, 0. So we, uh, after rounding off, it will become 58.6800. So this is the rate. Now what they are saying, amount to be debited. What amount we are going to debit to the customer. See, 1 million means 10 lakh. So multiply this rate by 10 lakh. You will get 58680000 as your answer. So friends, these are very, very simple and easy example. Uh, generally, 2 marks or maximum 3 marks are uh, for our three marks they are asking so in this uh, video we learn about the z you have to draw figure z here you have to take the common currency whichever is given here it should be your home currency and it is the remaining third currency and this side should be you have to make a unity after that you have to multiply this value depending i have to choose value whether you are selling or buying if you are selling you have to take high if you are buying you have to take low value just a multiply you will get your required rate if the margin is given depending upon sale or uh, or buy you have to add or subtract the margin